Hello, in this video, we are going to set up shipping charges within your WooCommerce plugin in your WordPress website. We are going to create multiple shipping classes within your WooCommerce plugin and then we'll assign the shipping charges to those classes and then we'll configure them in a way that they will automatically charge the highest amount of shipping price on the products that you will not assign the shipping classes. So if you are excited to learn, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to click hover over your WooCommerce option in your WordPress dashboard and then you will have to click on settings. Once you will click on settings, the next thing that you have to do is to click on this shipping tab. When, once you will click on your shipping tab, this will there it will show a wizard to you something like this. And from here, what you will have to do is to click on this add shipping zone. Once you will click on add shipping zone here, what will happen is that it will ask you to enter the shipping zone name. So for example, I'll type in United states and from here you will have to choose a zone regions and from here i'll click on this bar and from here i'll search for united states like this if you want you can limit to specific zip code or zip code in your shipping zone region that you have added here the only thing that you will have to do is to enter the zip codes right here like it says that post codes containing wild cards or fully numeric ranges are also supported so simply type in your shipping shipping zone or post codes here once that is done the next thing you have is to add a shipping method simply click on add shipping method and from here you have basically three options there woocommerce itself has many plugins available if you want to configure the advanced shipping but with their free version of woocommerce what you have is to choose between th three shipping methods so for now we'll choose the flat rate shipping method and then we'll click on add shipping method so once you will click on this add shipping method this will start loading and it will appear like this and from here you can click on edit so now it will asking you to write the method title what you can do is to type in flat rate shipping method so that it makes more sense to the customer on your WooCommerce store then you have option to choose whether the product is taxable or non taxable so what happens is that this tax cost will be added on top of your shipping classes cost that you will add in here so if your product is taxable simply choose taxable here and type in the tax cost but for now i want my product to be non taxable so i'll choose non and keep the cost at zero then here you have shipping class costs and the shipping class cost this is the shipping class name that we have added united states shipping class and it is asking for the cost so for example we type in the cost of 1.25 dollars so it will automatically decide it's in dollar amount no shipping class cost if you do not assign the shipping class to any product how much it should charge then from here i'll type in 2.25 i'll discuss about this in a while in this video so let's just keep it the way it is then here you have calculation types in the calculation types you have two options whether you want the shipping to be charged per class or per order so per order mean if someone ordered two or three products on your website then WooCommerce will automatically decide that how much cost it has to charge for that particular order. So I'll choose per order since we have chosen no shipping class cost if we have some products that have no shipping class classes added it will automatically charge them $2.25. I'll choose per order and I'll click on save changes. Once that is done, the next thing you have to do is to click on this shipping options. Once you will click on shipping options in this tab, you have these options available. The first option is calculation option. By default, it is on enable the shipping calculator on the card page or hide shipping cost until the address is entered. 
so for now we'll keep it as hide shipping cost until an address is entered this means that shipping cost will be hidden until the customer will enter their address on the card page then here you have shipping destination by default it is it is set on the customer shipping address you can either choose that either you want to decide the shipping charges to be added to customer billing address but by default it is on correct place so for example a customer is adding adding their billing address of new york city on your checkout page but he is living in california so he want to receive the product in california the so woocommerce will automatically decide if you will choose the default to customer shipping address woocommerce will automatically send the product to the shipping address and then whether you want to enable the debug mode you can enable it here but i do not want to enable the debug mode here so i'll keep it the way it is here once that is done i'll click on save changes the third option that we have is the shipping classes options so once you'll click on shipping classes option right here so here in this option you ha have the ability to add the shipping classes so i'll add three shipping classes here starting from small shipping small shipping class medium shipping class and a large shipping class once that is done click on save shipping classes once you'll save all of these shipping classes you'll see that you have an option to edit each of these shipping classes so you can edit these shipping classes here and change these title the way you want so for now i want to keep in keep them li like the way they are and once again we'll click on this shipping zones once you click on this shipping zone you'll see the recently added shipping zone that we have added then simply click on edit once you'll click on edit you have an option to edit the shipping method so you'll click on edit and now you can see that here are the shipping classes appearing that we have added just now so here you can decide the prices for each type of shipping class so for the small shipping class i want it to be 1.25 for the medium so for example i want it to be 2.25 and for the large i want it to be 3.25 and for the no shipping class product i want the shipping to go to 4.25 product and then i will click on save changes so so far what we did is to add the shipping zones and then we assigned the shipping method to the shipping zone and then what we did is to go to these shipping classes and added the shipping classes here and then we came back to the shipping zone and we added the shipping methods that we have and we assigned the cost to each of the shipping class that we have added furthermore what we did is to choose the shipping calculation as per order and not per class and then we hit save changes now that the shipping cost is added into your woocommerce plugin what you have to do is to go to each product and you have to assign the cost of shipping to each of the product let me show you that how you will do that so here are some of the products that i have what i'll do is to edit one of these products or what you can do is to simply click on quick edit button so once you click on quick edit here you can see that you have option of shipping classes if i click on this now you have option to choose large shipping class medium shipping class or small shipping class for example i choose the small shipping class here and once i stand click on update once you will click on update what it will do is to assign that shipping class to this particular product so let's just check this product on the front end of our website and let's confirm that the shipping charges that we have added are working properly so i'll choose a color for the product and i'll click on add to cart now the product is added on the cart i'll remove these products from here the important thing that you have to check is that the product cost is four dollar for now i will click on checkout here uh, on the checkout page what i'll have to do is to enter the shipping address here ship to a different address and these are billing addresses 
so we'll have to enter the shipping addresses here United States State Arizona here you can see that it have added the shipping cost in here that the flat rate shipping method is 1.25 and now the total product cost is 5.25 so this is how basically you can add the shipping charges to your WooCommerce plugin in your WordPress website. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.